Hello, it's Alan back again with another objective personality typing, maybe five, six years on, something like that. So I'm an ENTJ jumper, double masculine, play consume, sleep and blast last. And I've got two things unusual for this year's round. Firstly, this is the first year I can think of where I haven't even looked at the questions. Uh, you're getting straight off the, the dome today. And part of that's driven by I am much more comfortable being blast last and I'm curious for myself to see what does that look like live in the moment and secondly my we've got here Ava Hello I'm Ava And how old are you? I'm eight And will you be doing the video typing questions today as well? Yes I will be Thank you So Ava's excited to be on the video and I'm also excited for her to join me in this time capsule. So every so-and-so, I actually like to watch the videos because I can see how uh, me, me and uh, my character has changed over time, my thoughts have changed, and that's what's meant by a time capsule. So you'll get to see how you are today, and I, I, can, I bet you in a few years time, you actually probably will be embarrassed to watch this, and that's awesome. That is actually awesome because it's showing that you're becoming a uh, caterpillar growing into a butterfly. Butterfly. How cool is that? Can we start the questions now? Oh, you want to start the questions? Okay. So the first question is, and who's going first? You. Me. Okay. The first question is, what is your average day or week like? All right. And so my answer is, with time, very, very consistent. So there's not much different between my days and my weeks. Um, the timing of when I do things is all over the place and very flexible, but where my time goes as a distribution is very consistent. So there's always time for you and Jai, time for mom, some time for friends. I, I, I make regular time for me and then work as well. And that is like I said, uh, what the average looks like. It's, um, in some ways it feels a little bit um, zombie asleep uh, in the sense of things are running so smooth and predictable that I don't put any energy to it. I have a bit of a look ahead, see what type of commitments I have throughout the week and then I just shuffle stuff to suit. So... Uh, there's a lot of consistency. That doesn't mean the activities are the same. It means the allocation of time. So I know I'm going to hang out with you guys, but then how we hang out is quite different. Maybe we'll go out, maybe we'll go to the pools, maybe we'll play some games, we'll do some wrestling with Jai, all those type of things. But I consider that uh, spending time, quality time with you guys, and that is consistent. All right, so that's my answer for question one. Would you like me to repeat the question? Yes, please. Okay. In a way that I can understand. It. Okay. So the act, the question itself is, what does a day in the life of Ava look like? So what type of things would you do from when you wake up in the morning to when you go to bed? And you can talk about anything that's important to you okay. or anything that comes to mind. When I wake up, I usually sit on the couch and I read my book. I'm not really sure what I do at night. That's okay. It can be anything. You could go from start to finish. You could jump to right to the end. That could be the end of your, of your answer. That's okay. Whatever you're comfortable with. So if you, had to, if you had your best friend coming over and your best friend said, what did you do today? What would you tell them? I'll just tell them. I, is it okay if I don't answer this question? Dad? Of course it's okay. And can you cut what I said? I can. And can you also cut me saying this? I can. Okay, good. Okay. And I am skipping this question because I don't want to say it. That's okay. You don't have to. Would you like to keep going? Yes. Okay. Some of them get a little bit harder. Yeah. Uh, it's okay. Tell us a story 
Okay, so this is question two. Tell us a story about what frustrated you this week. Okay. Well, I had a boys' night weekend. Yeah. And it was on the last day and it was a big day, really big day. Uh, we're probably out for about 10, 12, 10 to 12 hours, not much food, a little bit of drinks, quite a bit of activity, so quite exhausted. And so we went into the pool afterwards, being tired, and we actually hung out in the pool for a while, which is pretty cool, and started chatting and turned into more of what we call a DM, which is a deep and meaningful. So we're talking about some things that are close to your heart that can be quite sensitive and matter. And one of the things that we ended up talking about was my relationship with my parents at the moment. And for whatever reason, uh, that caused a bit of intensity within the group. Uh, where someone was starting not me, someone was starting to get a lot more assertive, the tone was increasing, they were cutting me off a lot, and uh, yeah, look, it resulted in, in me deciding to defuse the situation by returning that intensity uh, tenfold. And so it lent led to an almost um oh snap moment like someone's just got really really angry and everything just stops and it's a bit of a reset for everyone and i got out of the pool and i said something along the lines of look you disrespected my boundaries i'm telling you that it's it's not okay and i've calmed down now it was intentional to, to demonstrate that you've reset my boundaries in a way that would be very transparent for you because I've given lots of warnings. And then I asked, am I calm? And they said, yes. And I said, cool. Like I said, it was intentional. Now let's get back to the conversation. And so it was a case of um, I, was, I, was, I was spending time with something that was really important to me. I was frustrated. Instead of hiding it, I decided to talk, give it some warning signs. It still kept on going. And so I, I said, stop, I don't like it. But I did it in a, in a daddy way. <laughs> I get it. That's okay, you don't have to. <laughs> All right, do you want to, so your question too is, tell us about something that frustrated you this week. Well, I'm a bit of a bookworm and I do like to read books and sometimes my brother Jai comes in my room when I'm reading and he makes loud noises or brings his toys and he tries to stop me reading and things and when I'm reading on the couch he always wants me to play with him and I say okay let's play the reading game well I read a book and you go away. It's just the game I made up so he would get away from me, but it doesn't even work. So, yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to your question? No. Okay. Next question. Okay. So you can say whatever you like. There's, there's every, everything you say is the right answer. Okay. Okay. Oh. Tell us about the three closest people in your life. Okay, the first one is definitely Ali. So, Ali is your mum, my partner, and she's very patient with dad. Because dad's quite moody. Mm -hmm. Dad tries to be very caring, but I'm also quite moody. And mum, mum's one of the only people that can put up with someone like me. And I love that. And Mm -hmm. uh, mum, mum's great because mum's got very different way of looking at the world than mum and dad <laughs> and one thing I know with your mum is it can take mum, mum and dad a lot of intense conversation to reach a decision 
But when we reach it, it's almost a decision good for life. Like it has been challenged to death and we know it's going to work. And uh, the pain is worth it. Your mum very special. My my alley is very special. <laughs> uh, then you and Jai, very close to me. I love and pr- am proud to be your dad and encourage you to in this world to grow develop be comfortable inquisitive do you know what inquisitive means no. curious do you know curious yes yep ask lots of questions all right <laughs> don't accept things as they are right. i'm really excited to have the opportunity to help guide you to to develop those processes and be a part of your story i'm excited I love you guys so much. Really do. And uh, another, I mean, that's three people. And then I've got <coughs> a couple of close friends who uh, I'm very close with, but the and even with that, the the times I see them is uh, different, differing throughout the year we're all peak peak and trough with busyness separately so visits are fewer and far between than they used to be uh but there's still a bond of shared experience that uh, i'm very grateful for and uh one of those close people friends uh was the person i got extremely frustrated with the other day and i'm glad we could continue on afterwards and not impact the friendship although in fairness the next day when we had to leave uh, it was a bit awkward and i didn't choose to address it uh, uh it hasn't it hasn't given me concern that i didn't i mean it's not like i've sat and wondered but now talking about it i'm not sure if it would have been more appropriate to it just didn't feel, I don't know, we were all super tired, four hours sleep, I decided to leave it. People thought I was grumpy even though I was in a good mood, so I'm not sure. Um, would you like to have a go at question three? Yes. Which is, tell us about the three closest people in your life. Yes. My dad, my mum, and my brother, but my two closest friends is Melia and Lillian and I have had sleepovers with them. <laughs> Next question. Okay. Oh, this is going to be a hard one for you, so we will change it a little bit. All right. What is wrong with the government? Question four. What is wrong with the government and politics these days? I mean, yeah, I know I'll change it to school for you. So what is wrong with school these days? <laughs> but for my question, can I have a go? Yeah. All right. What is wrong with government and politics these days? Well, the fact that I have very little care or following of government politics is part of what is wrong with it these days. It should matter. It's meant to be for the people. It's meant to serve my interests and the interests of everyone around me. It should matter, but it doesn't. It doesn't really matter why. There's lots of reasons why. Does does politics attract and reward the, the intent of looking out for the people? No, because that type of power attracts corruption and certain certain suites of individuals. There is a quote that I can't remember. Uh, yeah, I, I think I first heard it through Steve Jobs, but it was along the lines of the best leaders are the ones who 
don't want to be a leader. They chose to be a leader to see a different, to make a difference. And if I think about my experiences of when I've chosen to step up instead of be a hermit uh, and, and, and seeing what that can result and transform both myself and the situation around and others, I, my lived experience really aligns with that. And so does the churn and the mechanisms for entry into politics really align with the time and experience and story that people need to be willing to take that step up? No, it doesn't. In the end, the, the churn rate's higher than the incoming rate. And with that comes consequences and a lot of other things as well. So, whether there is a more appropriate solution for managing large scale human population than democracy, I'm not sure. I'm. <laughs> That's okay. that's okay that's okay that's okay i think that's enough for my question anyway so are you ready for yours all right i think it was question four what is wrong with school these days the first problem for me is that we're at school for too long yeah second problem for me is that there isn't enough candy third rule is that we're not allowed to eat food whenever we want and I mean sweets and I have a real sweet tooth because I love candy you and don't. it tastes very very nice you do next question okay uh, if you said that you're at school for too long how long should you be at school for we should be at school never we should we should be at my house having disco parties and sleep all this. Okay. Question five. Five. Tell us a story about the best and or worst time in your life. I um. I would say in general I'm actually a happy person, neighbor, but like I don't, I don't think about these type of uh, stories very often, and I should more. I, I think it's important and it keeps you grounded to recall that. So like, I think what's one of the best things that happened? Well, recently I really enjoyed our trip to Calbarry and swimming with you and Jai in the pool every day um, and the games that we're playing. That's okay, I'll ask it a different way. Um, but, okay, just watch your hand, just watch your hand. Um, the, it was really enjoyable spending quality time with you guys at Calbarry, having time not matter, forgetting about everything. Um, just just being there and, and present that was really really enjoyable and um, really appreciative that we got to hang out like that so the question for you is yes do you have a memory that you look back and you go wow that was really sad or painful or a memory you go wow I'm always happy when I think about that memory. I have a sad memory. Well, it makes me sad, but it is kind of a bit of a happy. Well, the memory, when the memory happened, it was sad, but, but now when I think about it, it's kind of a bit happy. Going to school. Okay. I don't enjoy it. But it's kind of nice to look back at, um, like work and things, and how I've been improving. 
so yeah but i don't like school and i love candy more than school is there anything in particular about school that bothers you yes i don't like it that we have to do work and i find it very annoying and i'm not the best at math maths but i am good at writing and other things and i'm also good at and i've got a special talent eating candy it's a lot of candy to but you're not though. really allowed to do that at school so i guess yeah no, maybe question. you need to go to the school of candy I will build when I get and when I get a house I'm going to make a house completely out of sweets. Okay. You ready for the next one? Yeah. Question six. What is the biggest challenge in your life right now? Right now. Okay. To, <coughs> today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Biggest challenge in your life right today. Would you like to go first? Can you explain it to me a little bit better? Yeah, like, is there something that's really hard today. at the moment? Or you know how it's like sometimes we set challenges? It doesn't have to be today, but like even something that you know that you're going to have okay. to do soon. I'll say it. Okay. I'll just go first with this one. Um, I was playing a game with my mum when my brother was out um, with his friend with having a play day and they were out somewhere. And I was playing a game that was 12 plus, but I'm only 8. And I didn't win any rounds, and I got a bit upset, but it was a real challenge, even just to play, so, yeah. Next! My turn? Yes. Okay. Yours always takes so long. I'm sorry, I can't help it. I like to talk lots. You normally talk forever and I can't get in. <laughs> all right, so I've got two things that are big challenges. All right, okay. You know like how mum and dad like to give you challenges? Yeah, yeah well, I have two. Okay, do you want to know the first? Although I have another one. Okay, you go. And my other um, hardest challenge was um, my dad gave me... My dad set me a challenge and he said he'd give me fifty dollars if i go to sleep before my brother and he goes to bed pretty early and it just happened on a night and it and it, i did do it but it happened on a night that my brother was overtired and i was super tired so it worked out just fine and then i get my fifty dollars just for the record, we're not... Do you, do you get $50 for every challenge? Well, not all, but... Y yeah, exactly. Don't make it sound like you You always get 50 bucks. I want it to sound like Yeah, that. I know you do. <laughs> okay, so I have two challenges. First one is, over the next nine months, I have six months of extremely busy periods across personal life and work life based on a series of commitments that 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 will be checked in uh and it's gonna let's just be careful how we sit right please okay. is that okay yeah right, we're, we're almost done we're almost done is that all right if you need to fidget that's okay yeah right, i need you... to oh should i bring a fidget toy oh, do you want to do you want to just do you want to do some breathing meditation or something just to calm down for a minute okay okay i, I know it's... i have to do it like this that's okay this. That's okay. So, extremely busy, uh, two, two periods over the next nine months, and the challenge is going to be to remain grounded uh, during that time. It's going to be easy to be exhausted, short-tempered, frustrated at people, and to sit back and recall that everyone is well-intentioned, everyone cares for each other is going to be key and part of that component of staying grounded and maintaining some degree of sanity <coughs> the second challenge which i can't remember now i'm so distracted by 
by you. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's okay. Maybe it'll come back to me. Because uh, this is the one I actually wanted to say. The other one was just more like a... Not a token thing, just something like I knew. The... Ah, oh, yes, yes, the second challenge. It's not It's not one right now, but I, I know it weighs on my mind. Uh, is professionally, what does the next step look like? In the sense of, if you think... Uh, Ava, oh. you're being disrespectful now. I'm sorry, Dad. It's alright if you want to fidget, but when I'm talking... Is it alright? If you yes. just wait? Yes, Dad. I know. Since I'm bored and you talk a lot. It's well, not a problem that you talk well, a lot. Well, you're allowed to talk as much as you like as well, and I, I'm going to sit and listen. I know. Okay. It's just, is it okay if I go first now on? Yeah, but can I finish my question? Yes. Okay, thank you. But if I find it a little bit hard, you can go first. I understand. And can I still have my turn now? Yes. Thank you. Okay, it's really simple. Uh, professionally, uh, hero's journey. So hero's journey is you come in, you learn a new skill, uh, sorry, you, you, you get confronted with a situation, you go hide in the tunnel. Through over time, you overcome the fear of whatever that adverse adversary was, and then you come back with the, the skills to do something new. So professionally, or even a, as, a, as a leader, uh, I, I transition from being a, effectively a doer to a leader. There was aspects of it that I was really uncomfortable with, uh, and from there I decided to focus back on Hermit, Solitude, Family and went back into a doing role. <coughs> Through that I can't help myself, I keep finding myself immersed in uh, delving through other people's problems and helping them out and I do get genuine satisfaction from doing it on my terms. Uh, which is not always part of the agreement, right? It's by direction. It can't just be the way I want it. But where I'm getting into is at some point I'm going to have to look into the next role and I do wonder, am I prepared to go into back into management? Uh, that one, I'm not sure because I think I look at management, I go, it's a full-time commitment. It doesn't stop. And the most important thing to me is not work, or my own business it's people like this little one yeah. right and and helping them to yeah. be uh, grow and develop to be independent thinkers uh to and carry themselves across the world that's what's really important to me my, my life is actually committed to this family okay. all right Dad. yes I nearly fell asleep. That's okay. Thank you for telling me. I needed a little rest. Okay. Well, um, there's two more questions. Are you ready for the last, for the, the second last one, number seven? Yes. Okay. Oh, this is going to be a hard one for you to answer. Yeah, but okay. Okay. What type do you see yourself and why? So let's ask this, right? What do you, what, is there anything about me that you think is similar to you? Okay. Is, is there anything I do or think about that's similar to you? And is there anything I do that's different? Um, you fart. Okay. <laughs> and you don't? No, I don't. What's that? Well, <coughs> well, I'm allowed to eat chocolate now, but my dad is on something okay. that is not. The stuff that dad gets sad or angry about, do you get sad or angry about? Well, dad gets sad and angry about, like, when I don't try new food. I don't get upset <laughs> that I don't try new foods. I just get upset when dad gets upset. Because then he walks away from the dinner table sometimes, and then he tells mum that... <laughs> or he says that the meal's too hard, you know, <coughs> things like that. Okay. I'm not sure that we're very similar, but okay. we don't have very many things okay. in common. 
but we would do. You like, would you like to have more things in common with Dad? Yes, we do have a couple. It's just I'm saying the things that we don't. Okay. Half the things we don't. <laughs> um, I like smooth. I mean, I like boost. I like boosters. Do. Mhm. Good. And my dad does, but I don't really know. It's okay. Is it my turn? Yeah. All right. Do I need that answer? Well, it's going to be hard for you to answer that question because you're not really familiar. Well, you're not familiar at all with any of the personality stuff. But look, I'll be quick. Yes, I agree. With my typing, uh, I, I I support it, and like consistently, what I've really appreciated with this objective personality system is the animals, um, the the procedural flow of conver uh, converting thought into speech uh, that that I, I just uh, resonate with that so much uh, okay. thank you uh, the the stuff about cognitive functions when I before objective personality that I cared about a lot these days not very much I mean I do I, I do recognize there is fundamental significantly fundamental differences between FE and TA uh, or extroverted feeling extroverted thinking for example however in real life I don't really pay attention to that like where I like to type people to then uh, optimize how I, I interact with them is through the animals uh, okay uh, <coughs> the main thing Ava is the last question yeah. what do you want what are you wanting to get out of the typing process oh sorry what what do you want out of this video like well I wanted people to be seeing me okay I wanted to spend some time with my dad yep and I also thought it would be fun. And I also really wanted people to be watching me. Mm-hmm. Next question. Okay, that's it. You finished. For me, uh, the same thing as usual. Uh, I just do this as a time capsule. At one point, I used to say, like, maybe this would be useful for other people. I don't care. I mean, it doesn't get views, but I actually don't care. Uh, I, I do this because occasionally it's, it's like looking back at photos, but this has a depth that photos can't match. Uh, a thousand words. A picture paints a thousand words, uh, and a video is a thousand pictures, which is a million words. So that's why I do this. Okay, now we're gonna wrap up. Is there anything you wanna say before we end the video? Yes. Okay. Bye. Okay, my turn? Yeah. I'm really glad we got to do this together. Thank you for coming on. You're really brave. You're really brave. It's so different looking into a camera for the first time and you've got a microphone. It's like, what is going on? What is going on? And your answers, you, this is the first time you're doing it. I remember like I could barely talk. And I was stumbling and mumbling. You're so brave. That's why I'm not talking that much. This is my first time. That's okay. Uh, I think I look at what you've done and I go, if I was Ava, I would feel amazing. How do you feel? Good, but do I get a prize? The prize is your own happiness. <laughs> yeah. Right. Always does. Yeah, I know. All right. Love you. Okay. Bye.